So once we have worked with uh, objects and methods in Scala, let's see how do we use uh, how do we use uh, what do you say list of values here. Okay. Now let's say if you want to create a list in Java. So this is a Java console here. I am creating a list. And normally to use a list, we say list of integers and we'll say this is nums equal to, we say new add a list and then we can specify the values here, right? So we can say, let me import the package first, which is util. Okay, so we, once we have got the package, we can add the values by saying nums dot add and we can say value four and then we can add one more value uh, below. We can say this is let's say this is we can say this is let's say eight so we can we can do that right this is one way another way is if you already know the values we can directly say val arrays dot as list arrays dot as list by passing some values i can say four comma seven comma two comma three right so we can pass the values like that so we can use arrays dot as list and we can mention the values here right and how do we so this is this is how you, you 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 do in java right now if we go to scala let's see in scala how we do it so in scala we simply say var nums equal to we say list we don't have to use any new keyword we can simply say list and we can specify four seven two and three so the thing we can do there is same as here so we can write this stuff here we can say list of values so it is you can see this nums this nums is by default a list of int okay so that's how we create a list here now how do we print a list of elements in this java so to print the list of elements we can use a normal for loop or we can use enhanced for loop right so normally in enhanced for loop we use int uh, int i colon nums and then we can print individual values right so we can print i and if I run this code, we get we got all the values. In Scala, also what we can do is we can use a uh, enhanced for loop here. That is very simple to to use enhanced for loop here. We can say a for n, but in in Java we specify a colon, right? Here we don't have to specify a colon. We can use a arrow on the left hand side, and we can say this is nums, and we can put a curly brackets here. And we instead of saying system dot dot print ln, we use, we only use print ln here, and let's print n. And you can see we'll be getting the output here. We can see we we got the output as four, seven, two, and three. In fact, we don't require this curly brackets when you have only one statement. That will be because Scala believes in less number of lines, right? So why to waste your number of lines just because of semicolon? So I can write that in one line, and you can see we got the output as four, seven, two, and three. So that's how you use uh, that's how you use uh, enhanced for loop in Scala. We use we use a left arrow here. Okay, so in in Java we use colon. Here we use a left arrow. Now I don't know if you are familiar with lambda expression in uh, in Java. We can also use lambda expression here. So let me just do it in in uh, Scala in Java first, and then I will I will show you how to do the same thing in Scala. So let's go back to uh, let's go back to my Eclipse in Java. Now, how do we use a how do we use a lambda expression here? It is very simple. Now, to know more about lambda expression, you can just go to if you don't know lambda expression, that's okay. You can just go to the uh, description. In description, I have a link for the to how to use lambda expression for for uh, for list of values. So I will just remove this part. So in Java 8, especially we can use nums dot for each. Now this this only works in Java 8, okay? It, it will not work in Java 7. So I can use for each, and I can specify i, and we can use an arrow, which is system o. Okay, that's weird. So i and arrow, and I can I can specify system dot out dot. Hey, why the shortcut is not working here? Okay, that's weird. System dot out dot. Okay, I think I should type it here. We'll say system dot out dot print ln, and I can specify the value i there. So even this thing works in Java. So if I run this code, you can see we got the output. Now how exactly it's working? You can just go to the comment sec. I mean, you can go to description area and you can see that. But just to give you a glimpse, what happens is in Java 8, nums has a method which is for each, and for each 
takes the object of consumer and consumer is a interface okay so what we can do is here in the code we can specify that we are passing the object of consumer in fact i think you should you should watch the video in the description you will get the complete idea instead of wasting time here so just assumed that you you can use lambda expression here so in java 8 you can use lambda expression in in scala also we can use lambda expression so again the lambda the concept of lambda expression came to uh, it came to it came to Scala, it came to Java 8 from Scala itself. So if you want to do the same thing in Scala, we can use nums dot. Again, the method name is for the each itself. And we can use i as we have used in the in the in the in Java. But we can specify the type of i here, we can say int. And then instead of using, so in Java we have used a single arrow, right? We have used a single arrow in uh, in Scala, we have to use double arrow. So we have to use a double arrow here. And we can specify, I want to do print ln of i. That's it. So you can see we are getting an error here. Why I'm getting error? That is weird. Oh, we have, instead of using, okay, I've used a wrong brackets. We have to use a curly brackets here. Yeah, so we have to use a curly brackets, not round, not round brackets. So you can say we got the output. So we use lambda expression in Scala also. So I would I would recommend you to learn about uh, lambda expression more in Java 8 first before jumping to Scala. So in Scala we use uh, equal to and greater than sign. In Java we use a uh, arrow and I mean a hyphen and a uh, greater than sign. So that's how we use a list of values with lambda expression in in Scala and Java. So that's it. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.